Jam with me, and for this jam with me, we are reacting to a new album, ladies and gentlemen. NSB <laughs> NSB has released a new album, and by the time I'm recording this, it came out a couple days ago. I have reacted to their music video for their song Bug, which is super cute, and it's on the album, so that is a song that I already know. As far as the other songs that are on the album, I think there's a couple that are on there that I'm aware of. Sunshine, Jet Black, and You Are My Star. So the only songs that are new are Cydia, Never Did This Before, Nocturnal, and Bug. But we're gonna give this full album a listen. Um, I'm super excited because by the time I'm filming this, next week, I will be going to see NSB um, in Atlanta, and then next weekend, I'll be seeing them in Brooklyn. So I'm seeing them twice on this tour. I'm super excited. So let me turn up the radio. And let's hop into it, shall we? The first song is called Cydia. Oh, is that the end? Yeah. <laughs> Never did this before. 
liking the vibes of the album right now. Hey! Wait, whoa, what does this mean? Wait a second. collected i don't know something like it's i feel like it's such a different sound that's what i've enjoyed so much through nsb's music thus far is like everything they have released has always been something new and something different for them um granted i mean they haven't made music for too long but i still think it's impressive that they do that because sometimes I feel like artists release something that's a specific sound and they see that it works so they just kind of stick with it instead of I feel like venturing out into what more they could figure out and try to do with their sound. I'm just really glad that they're branching out and not keeping themselves in one box and really experimenting with all different types of sounds and their flows and just like the beats and everything and i think i've said this in reactions before but ollie um is behind like the producing um i'm not sure if he works with other people now i know in the very beginning i think he was doing it all by himself i'm not sure if he works with other people not to produce music um, for NSB. However, I know that he does always hold a big part in it. So literally in terms of that, Oliver, like genuine round of applause, like especially this song Nocturnal, it might actually be my favorite off the album. I thought honestly, um, City was gonna be, cause as soon as City started, I was like, wait a second. It was hitting a little too hard. Nocturnal's a crazy song. But like crazy in the sense of like, yo, 
I I need this like engraved in my brain right now. And the fact that I'm literally probably about to hear all these songs live in concert is just like. I like that the first three songs in the album are all new, considering the next four, only one of them I haven't heard, I think. I'm still trying to figure out the, vo the voices of um, everyone in the group because I feel like I can obviously tell them apart when they're speaking, but when they're like singing in these songs, it's kind of hard to differentiate who's who like sometimes I hear and I'm like no that sounds like Reggie but then I think back of all the other songs that I've heard where I kind of heard that similar sound and I feel like either Justin sounded that way or maybe Kane has sounded that way so it's kind of hard I can never say this word I have to say it slowly differentiating who's singing what part um but at the end of the day I think it's all very much like very well done so what's the next song let's hop right back oh it's sunshine I love sunshine. So let's just like enjoy this song. Oh, I love this song. This is to me this is Reggie's song. You make my You keep my Yeah, Sunshine is literally that song. It's, oh, ever since they've dropped that song, I've been like, like Sunshine's just such a good song. To me, it's Reggie's song. Like, I don't know why, but like, when I first heard them perform this, I think it was their very first tour, Saturday night tour in Nashville. When I very first heard this song and they sang it, I still have the videos. I was like, I was in awe, in love literally like it's such a banger i need to order my food well obviously i'm gonna be eating through the rest of this video so i apologize in advance but we're gonna hop back into it with bug this is one of their newer songs that had a music video to it that i've reacted to if you have not watched that video i highly suggest you go watch it but let's see well let's listen to it again <laughs> This album are so immaculate.
like I'd be in bliss and like euphoria or whatever. Cydia definitely set the tone for the entire album. It was so good. Such a different sound, I feel like, than what I've ever heard from an SB, which like I said, I love that they aren't sticking to just one sound, one genre, like one thing that they're comfortable with. I'm glad that they're experimenting with as much as they possibly can because so far they've ex I feel like they've experimented with a lot and it's worked every single time. I feel like me personally, there, ha there hasn't been like a bad song that NSB has released or like a song that I didn't like. Obviously I like some more than others, but in terms of overall, I don't think there's been a song where I'm like, NSB, y'all should not have dropped that. You know what I mean? Like I haven't had a moment like that yet for any of their music. So that's, I'm like thoroughly proud of them. Um, next was Never Did This Before, Never Done This Before, Never Did This Before. I think that's Sebastian's song. I think um, I've seen actually teasers of it on their TikTok. Um, and he's always the one that's in it. So I'm assuming that's his song, which I think the song's very, very good. I think in terms of, I don't think it's a full solo song because I'm pretty sure I heard other members in it. But I think in terms of the song, it's really good. I don't like it better than Cydia, but I don't think it's a bad song either. I, again, I think the vibes of it are so good. And I really enjoy kind of like the story of it um but i think it's really good it easily matches the vibes of cydia um which is why i said cydia was a good starting song it really set the tone so great job on that song as well and then probably my favorite song off the album nocturnal yeah i don't know nocturnal might just be my favorite song it was so good the beat shook me because it was still the same vibes but it had that little hint of a little bit more in it of like like it got a little high but it was also still very calm and very toned down I don't know I felt like it was a good mixture of both and that's probably just my fate like honest I ha I can't explain the feeling I felt when I listened to that song but for me like everything about that song was just it so nocturnal is definitely my favorite song off the album what came after nocturnal sunshine uh sunshine has always been one of my favorite songs of nsv ever since it's been released like i said i still remember when i got to hear that live for the very first time and i literally was i literally was mesmerized because what i liked about that stage was it was literally just reggie and ollie on the stage at the mics just singing but they were so it was so casual and like it really felt like they were just like singing it to you like if you were just like ugh. We were just really like in the moment and like listening to the song it genuinely felt like they were singing that shit to me and it was just so good i was so engrossed in it i've loved that song ever since it dropped it's always been one of my favorite nsb songs i have literally nothing else to say about sunshine other than sunshine is that song <laughs> next was bug bug i reacted to the music video too so like i said if you haven't seen it definitely go check that out i give a uh, more of a thorough thought process of the song and the music video over there but I think Bug is a really cute song. I, because I've seen the music video, listening to the song, I can't help but think of the music video because I think the music video was really cute and it helps explain the song a lot more. I feel like the lyrics still tell a pretty clear story. However, when you watch the music video and you're listening to the song and you hear the lyrics, it just, it really all comes together. I love that the story behind a lot of their music is very much like, in a sense would be considered like a cutesy message but the song isn't really that cutesy so i feel like it it allows it to not be i guess cheesy in a sense like because you know everyone sings about heartbreak or falling in love and things like that and sometimes those songs can get real cheesy real quick and it's just like not it but i feel like nsb that's kind of like a common get over man like you're so far over the line sorry i literally just got mad but she's literally help to be in my lane now i wish you would scratch my car <sighs> anyways <laughs> god that really made me lose my train of thought oh i feel like that message sometimes can get really cheesy and overplayed but i feel like nsb uses that message quite a lot and because all the songs sound different they have a different tone to them a different vibe a different feeling it's it's never cheesy and it's i feel like it's always fresh so i i like that they're able to do that next jet black don't even get me started on jet black i love jet 
black. Jet black is literally that bitch. Like she, <laughs> she's a good banger. Like she's such a good song. I have reacted to that music video as well, so be sure to go check that video out too. But I remember when I first listened to it and watched the music video, I don't think you guys understand. I was so flabbergasted. I was like, oh, they really, they really put all of it out there and just like say, here you go, here, here's the song. Oh, but I love Jet Black. I love the beat of it. I love the rule world. Like I, lo I love it, it's so good. It's the type of sound that I tend to go for normally in music, um, like off a of first listen when songs kind of have that vibe and that sound to it. Those are the songs I gravitate towards. Um, so I have loved Jet Black ever since it's been released and I will always love it. It's my one of my favorite songs and I cannot wait to hear that song live either. Um, but yeah, Jet Black is just, she's that bitch to me and I love that song to death. Um, and then lastly, You Are My Star. I'm pretty sure um, someone correct me if this isn't right, but You Are My Star is the first song NSB has ever released and it was such a good song for them to release because it was like a taste of what they could do with music but also it was like a message to their fans that song i feel like will always hold such a special meaning not only to the boys but even to everyone in the fandom i think everyone will forever hold that song in their heart like dear dear and truly um me included because uh, i remember the first time we uh i heard that song live and they did that song at the very end of the concert i literally think i started to tear up and i was like wait a second my mascara gonna run <laughs> i said suck those tears back up the mascara is gonna start running but i think it's just what i love about nsb is they genuinely feel like such a close group of friends if not like even family at this point they've been together for so long i feel like and so i feel like you can just feel the emotions that they exude when they sing this song i feel like they are able to portray everything they want to when they sing perform and like even when they recorded to put the song out like I feel like they really put everything into it to where like every time I hear this song I am literally on the verge of just like because <laughs> I just think it's so good I think it holds such a good message and it's their very first song they ever released so it's just it's so pleasing to see this song versus the music they're releasing now. Like, it's just so good to see. So, to rate and rank all of the songs in the album. Song number one, going up top, Nocturnal. She's easily number one spot at a 10 out of 10, easily. Second song is gonna be Jet Black at a 10 out of 10, easily. Those two songs are like the two vibes that I tend to go for in music um, all the time. Um, they're the songs that I gravitate towards, so those both get a 10 out of 10. And just depending on the mood, would depend on which one would take the first place spot. But as of right now, Nocturnal's taking that first place spot. Third, ooh. Third, I gotta do Sunshine at a 10 out of 10. And I feel like it's a little unfair because Sunshine has been released way longer than some of these other songs. And Sunshine was like the very first song that I fell in love with from NSV. Fourth, I'ma go, I'ma go Cydia for four. Cydia, such a good song. I'ma do a nine out of 10, I think. It's still a good song, but in terms of all the other songs that I think are 10 out of 10, it, it like isn't in that same bracket for me. Five, five, I'm gonna go Bug. Bug is such a cute song. I think what ups Bug as well is because I've seen the music video and I love, 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 love the music video. Um, so I'm gonna give Bug five with an 8.5 out of 10. And then six, I'm gonna go, never did this before with an 8.5 out of 10. I'm gonna give it the same as Bug. Um, I think they're kind of in the same bracket in terms of how I feel about the songs. So I'm gonna give both of those 8.5. And then lastly, I'm gonna do You Are My Star. Now, You Are My Star is not last because it's like one of the worst songs on the album. You Are My Star holds such a dear, like, it just, it holds a special place in my heart. So I kind of already knocked it out of the top spots because it kind of had an unfair advantage. But I'm gonna give it a seven and it's gonna be a nine out of 10 because that is their very first song they released and holds a special place in my heart and I love the song to pieces. But with all the new music they've released, it's not necessarily a 10 out of 10 for me. When it first dropped, it was easily a 10 out of 10. But now with the music that they've released and all the progress that they've made and you know, you can just see all the hard work they've been putting in, 
um, it's gonna be a 9 out of 10 for me. But yeah, that's the ranking, those are the ratings, and that is the end of this jam with me. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite song off the album, comment down below if you're gonna be singing NSB on tour, comment down below if you're going to the ATL show or the Brooklyn show, I'll be at both. Be sure to check out my reactions to literally all of NSB's music videos. I've reacted to pretty much every single one they've released. I've reacted to Friends, I've reacted to Kissing Booth, I've reacted to Jet Black and Bug. So be sure to go check all those out for me. Let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. I enjoy reading it. You can follow all my socials. They'll be down below. Do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Bye.